Christmas time at the Disneyland Resort is finally here and we couldn't be more excited to celebrate the very first day of the Christmas season at Disneyland. In this video, we will be showing you the ultimate 2023 Christmas time at Disneyland guide for your next trip to the parks for the holidays. We will be trying some new and exclusive foods that are only available at the Disneyland Resort for the holiday season. We will see Mickey and the gang in their Christmas attire on Main Street, check out all of the new and exclusive Christmas time novelty items that just released at the parks, and talk about other tips and tricks that will help you on your upcoming trip to Disneyland for the holiday season. So stay tuned. But before we get started with today's video, guys, if you're new to the channel, welcome if you guys do enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed and tap that notification bell to be notified when we do drop a new video so let's get started okay guys so we wanted to share a cool tip with you and then we're going to talk about some disney magic that already happened this morning so first things first on big opening days like this one there's awesome novelties coming off you want to make sure that you secure a locker so we made our way over here to the locker on main street and we secured the big locker to make sure it can hold all of our fun festivities and while we were getting a locker, we happened to bump into Melinda from Disneyland Day Off. And she was so sweet to spread some Christmas magic to a lot of people here. She had a locker with lots of bluey goodies for the kids. So it was so amazing. She's going to have a post. Um, I don't know if she'll be doing it throughout the season, but it's just little magic like that that definitely put a smile on our face. And she's going to be so happy coloring her little book. So thank you so much from the bottom of our heart. After you get your locker, the next thing you want to do is come and get a family picture by the Christmas tree. It looks so beautiful first thing in the morning and there are shorter lines. And then later in the night, they will go ahead and do the Christmas tree lighting. And then you definitely got to get a picture then with all the beautiful lights on the tree. But the lines will be a little longer, but you want to make sure you add that to your list and have it for your memories. One of my favorite things to see each year as well is these poinsettias. Now the flower beds here at Disneyland for every single season or holiday, they decorate so fantastically. And for the Christmas time at Disneyland, we have a beautiful bed of poinsettias, which happen to be one of my favorite flowers of all time. And make sure you guys look down. You'll also see some really cool stuff like this. All right, Disneyland has me in my feels. I feel like they do such an amazing job at getting this place decorated. So make sure you take some time to walk down Main Street. Take a look at the garland that's hanging from store to store. Look at the light posts, all the wreaths, all the little ornaments. They literally have a touch of Christmas magic on every display, every shop. And at nighttime, just walking down the street with a hot cocoa, it's just so much more magical with all the lights lit up. It's my absolute favorite thing to do here during the holiday season. And to piggyback off what Nicole just said, one of our favorite things to do at night is get a Mickey Mouse gingerbread cookie and also get a hot cocoa. And I know we're gonna be coming back for the nighttime here at the Disneyland Resort, but for today's video, we just wanna give you guys that type of tip just because it is so magical, especially at night, to sit down on Main Street, drink your hot chocolate, and eat that really good Mickey gingerbread cookie. So if you get here early enough for rope drop, you will get lucky enough to see the characters up on the train station. They look so cute with their adorable little outfits that just make you feel like you're in snow season during the holidays. They are so cheerful and they have fun interactions amongst themselves. They're very awesome in making sure that they say hi to everybody first thing in the morning. And it's just a great way to kick off your morning to get you amped up for the park and just to celebrate Christmas here. Like, what are we doing? We're just happy and celebrating Christmas. Now we are currently in line to meet Minnie Mouse for this holiday season. So it looks like she's gonna be the very first one for this year. I know Raylani is quite excited to meet all the characters. Are you ready for Minnie? Yeah. yeah let's do it. Hi, Minnie. Aw, <laughs> so cute. She loves you, Minnie. Aww. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't though, right? Who doesn't? So we just got to meet Minnie. Raylani was so excited to show her her Christmas outfit, her little dress and her gingerbread socks. And it was just a really nice experience. She really took her time in making sure she had a connection with the baby. So make sure you meet Minnie and the rest of the gang during the holiday season. One thing to also keep in mind, if you guys are going to meet the characters on Main Street, as you can see, the lines get crazy, crazy long, but that's okay because these characters look so fantastic. So there's multiple spots on Main Street where you can actually meet the characters. So keep that in mind, but they are definitely a sight to see. 
One awesome tip also to keep in mind is inside the Emporium, you guys can do a lot of the Disneyland Resort Christmas time shopping here. But let's go inside and see if there's anything new for today. As you guys can see, there is tons of new Christmas time Disneyland merchandise that is here inside the Emporium. So if you guys want to do a little bit of holiday shopping, you guys can come in here and do that. But this place is filled with so many fun Christmas time goodies. And one thing that we do recommend for a lot of you guys is if you guys are coming for the holiday time, why not pick up an ornament to remember your special day here at the parks? So our buddy Alan told us that these actually sing. So when you turn them on, see if I can get it. There you go. So it's kind of like the uh, bubble one last year. I don't know if it's creepy or cool, but this is really, really neat. You can find it inside the Emporium as well. So shout out to our friend Alan who has his bucket. We have ours ordered, but at all the popcorn stands throughout the resort or at some of the novelty stores, you can get the new Mickey Toy Soldier popcorn bucket. He looks really awesome. He is a little bricky, kind of giving that little nutcracker vibe, but he's absolutely cute. I can't wait to display him at home. There are different little stores around Main Street. Make sure you check out the window displays because here we have Santa's nice list. Did you make the cut? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> One big thing also to get some fun treats is here inside the Penny Arcade, or I should say Candy Palace, which let's go inside right now and see what they have. So coming inside of the Candy Palace, <laughs> there is actually not really anyone. I feel like everyone's outside, but this place is incredible. As you can see, they have tons of new Christmas time treats for you to pick up. And we love doing this, like picking up for different family members if we travel back home just to bring them some of the joy from Disneyland. You guys have to see some of these treats in person. They are just so cute. So make sure you make a pit stop here at the Candy Palace on Main Street. They also have some merchandise as well for you guys to pick up. So if you don't wanna be like fighting some people inside of the Emporium, you can come here and you don't have to really rub elbows with anyone. But this is one of our favorite places to come to, right? Yes, it smells amazing throughout the year, but during Christmas time, it's just like, more enhanced, more sweetness, more chocolate. I love it. <laughs> and Raylani decided that we're gonna get some taffy. Sour taffy. <laughs> Ooh, there we go, good choice. <laughs> really quick, we wanna make sure that once you enter the park after scanning in that you pick yourself up a guide map. And as you can see here, it has the Christmas tree. Last year, I believe it had the castle at nighttime all lit up with its glaciers and stuff and it looked really pretty or glaciers, icicles, what the heck. Uh, so anyways, here we have the tree. I wish they would have done it like at nighttime with some pretty lights or something, but instead we got the daytime and it just looks a little pixely, so not too, too exciting. But anyway, this will show you all of the food offerings throughout the resort that you can try, churro carts and different treats, and just any holiday offerings in general that are here at Disneyland. So make sure you pick yourself up a guide map. One thing to keep in mind also, if you guys are coming to Disneyland and you wanna pick up some of the novelty popcorn buckets, I know we kind of already brushed upon it, but the lines do get really, really long. So make sure if you want a popcorn bucket, you kind of like rope drop it or really prioritize your day of what you wanna pick up. Cause those lines again can just get so long and you're gonna be waiting for maybe not like over a couple hours, maybe about an hour or so depending on the day, but just keep that in mind. Today here at Disneyland, it looks like they are filming. So we're filming them. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like there's also the talking and blinking Mickey Mouse back there, if you can see him. But it looks like they're doing a little bit of media coverage. So I think we'll probably leave them alone. Raylani sees Mickey. Yeah, she's like, okay, now the ducks. Right. And one big tip, and I think all of you guys are aware of this one, you definitely have to come see the castle for the Christmas time here at Disneyland. It looks so fabulous. And of course at nighttime, it looks even more spectacular. And speaking of spectacular, make sure you guys also watch the fireworks here at the Disneyland Resort. The amazing show is phenomenal each year and Disney truly knows how to bring that Christmas spirit into their fireworks shows as well. But we definitely wanted to come over here to the castle and cover this just because it is so beautiful with all the garland, the icicles, and the snow. It just looks so fantastic. I wanted to point this out just because my wife is so beautiful, but look at her outfit, <laughs> looks fantastic. And our little girl, which she wants some hand sanitizer apparently, but her little outfit looks so cute. Raylani, let's see, let's see. Oh, stylish girl. <laughs> hey, at least she wants clean hands, right? All right, we just picked up our stuff from Jolly Holiday to go review, but Raylani couldn't hold out any longer. She's already started with her gingerbread man. And we got some more stuff. 
and you just screamed. I did. So we're here at Tomorrowland. We made our way to Galactic Grill, and we're going to be trying the Hyper Drive Holiday Chicken Sandwich. Now this consists of fried chicken with cranberry orange marmalade barbecue sauce, provolone, onion rings, and arugula on a toasted brioche bun. I thought this was the same thing as last year, but it was advertised as new, so let's dig on in. So I do enjoy this, however, I think the orange might have clashed with the barbecue hints, or there's, there's just something that I'm not like too, too fond over. But I mean, it is pretty good. I think I would rate this like a four out of five if I had to give it something. So we're recording this, but Raylani decided to dig into the snow globe thing. And she's got a little bit of green on her face. Silly girl. All right, so I'm really excited for this one. Last year, I really did enjoy it. I don't know if it was a burger last year or if it was a chicken sandwich, but you gotta love the holidays. I love these creative meals, so let's try it out. Starting with the bread, I feel like the bread was phenomenal. Then you had the crunch of not only the chicken, but you also had the crunch of the onion ring that is inside, which both of those taste really good. I mean, the onion rings are pretty much anything you could try throughout the park. But the chicken with the arugula and the cheese were fantastic. And my favorite part being the cranberry sauce. I maybe wish there was just a little bit more, um, but maybe if it did have a little bit more, it might make it really soggy. But this dish is really good. I will definitely be getting it again for the holiday season. So next I'm gonna try the Galactic Holiday Punch. This is a returning item. We absolutely love all the little decorative uh, toppings with the cranberry, the orange slice, and the rosemary sprig. So let's dive on into trying this week. It's really good. I do feel because we had to let it sit when we were getting our bucket, it did go a little flat. Um, I'm not mad at it though. It's really nice and smooth. It's not bitter at all. And it has that richness flavor of that cranberry. So I definitely would give this another shot and drink it as it's freshly served so that I can really get that impact of the Sprite. Um, but make sure you add this to your list to bring a little bit of holiday cheer. Is it good? How's your food, Raylani? Is it good? Thumbs up? Daddy? <laughs> Peace. So now it's my turn to try the holiday punch. This was one of my favorite items from last year. So I'm so excited to give it another shot this time around. I just love how festive it looks. Here we go. Ooh, yeah. So that hit the spot for sure. Now I do have to agree with Nicole. I think just because it has been sitting, it's kind of flat. So maybe we'll try and mix it up, see if that makes a difference. But if you guys are gonna get this drink, just make sure you drink it right away. All right, so our buddy Alan decided to show up and he is, actually, are you ready for the holidays? Uh, <laughs> I think so. I think I'm missing a couple. Do a little twirl for us. <laughs> now this is a holiday spirit. Uh, good to see you again, Alan. Yeah, buddy. So from Jolly Holiday, we have the chocolate cake snow globe. Raylani already made quite a dent, but she did not touch the little hidden Mickey, so I'm really excited for that. Um, but the presentation of this was really cute. It looks like the dome had kind of like a snow spray paint per se on the actual dessert itself, but let's dig into this chocolate cake. Okay, so we have like a chocolate mousse going on, chocolate ganache and chocolate cake. Chocolate is just my favorite in general, so let's take our bite. Okay, so I love chocolate, but holy cow, that was really rich. Um, it's really moussey and light. I really did like it, but I think I could only take like one bite of it and I probably would need like a really tall glass of milk to help slide everything down. Um, but if you're really into chocolate, which I thought it was, but if you're really, really into chocolate, make sure you add this to your list of things to try during the holiday season. Check it out, guys. It is so crowded that they're actually bringing other characters inside the park at the moment. Now we made our way inside of Fantasyland and I wanted to point out these really cool Christmas time wreaths that have made their way over here, getting closer to It's a Small World. So if you look up, you'll see some really fun and different decorated wreaths for the Christmas holiday here at Disneyland. Okay guys, It's a Small World is back almost to the teacups because it is the holiday turnover. Today is opening day. But if you want to ride this ride, make sure you rope drop it because if not, you're going to be stuck waiting in a really, really long line. And one thing to keep in mind also, guys, the Christmas Fantasy Parade, which is a beautiful and spectacular Christmas time parade that Disney puts on every single year. Now for the first showing, it is at 3.30 and that will actually start over by It's a Small World. And for the nighttime viewing, it's gonna start at 6.30 and that actually begins at Main Street. So we can't wait to come back for the holiday season and take a look at both of those parades as it is always, always one of the top things to do on our list. Okay, so we made our way 
back here to Main Street Hub. It is very, very crowded to the point where I can't even really walk with the stroller because just the amount of crowds. But we wanted to point out that in Adventureland, the new tree house is finally open. Today is the official kickoff of opening day for the tree house. So that is something that we are gonna get to as a family together and experience it with Raylani for the first time. This will be her first time at the tree house. So that's really exciting. We also do want to point out that in New Orleans Square, they still are doing the Haunted Mansion turnover with Nightmare Before Christmas. So make sure to ride that during the holiday season. It makes it more special. All right, so we told you guys that we were going to talk about some novelty items. So first up, we have the Donald Christmas tree sipper. He's absolutely really cute. I believe he has a light down here. There is a pull tab, so just make sure that if you're keeping this here for personal or if you're gifting it to somebody, that you check to make sure that it lights up. And the next item for this year is this golden tin. It looks like it's a repeating item from last year, although last year's was like a dark red, not the gold. And Nicole said that we believe it plays jingle bells. So this is a new item also for this year. And Raylani is deciding to play the trumpet with Mickey. <laughs> so make sure you're following us also on Instagram as us and Dorky Park Stat are gonna be giving away all three of these novelty items shown. So with that being said, we want you guys to win, so make sure you enter that giveaway. One thing to keep in mind is here on Main Street at Plaza Point, you can actually get some custom ornaments made, and we highly recommend doing this to commemorate your trip here to the park for the Christmas time. All right, guys, so that is the video. We had such a great time for the opening day of the Christmas time here at Disneyland. I think that was a success. Yes, I'm so happy. I'm excited that we get to celebrate this for quite a few weeks, up until mm -hmm. even January, so that's very exciting. And yeah, I just have a big smile on my face. <laughs> yeah, so let us know in the comment section down below, guys, if you are going to be coming. But with all that being said, if you guys did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. And tap that notification bell to be notified when we do drop a new video. And like we always say, may you always have a magical adventure. See you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.